Hello everybody and welcome to the new Minecraft Exchange. I'm sorry for the downtime, but we come back with a better server. Hopefully you'll find it better. Um This is Roadkill in the middle and Jacob on the right. Say hi guys. Hello. Hey. Okay. Yeah, so basically this new server we're using a plugin called Townie. And basically what this does, it protects all like the land that you build in a town with like other friends is that basically it just protects it and yeah, it does a lot more good. but that's only what we're going to right now so let's just start like i guess walking down to find a place and where we're going to like do a test town for you guys testy so, town let's go all right so basically this is just a spawn building we'll have more spawn uh, we'll have more signs over here just explaining some things more like yeah. a mansion building yeah, let's just fly for it now over here, Jacob. Just follow us, Jacob. Okay, so, yeah, on, Jacob, so here, you can do it. Right here, again, I'm, I'm working on shops. it. We just have the ores in here, and then we'll have like wood and. Uh, yeah, you sell ores ones. here to make money for your town. That's yeah. a very important part of townie. Yeah, basically, a town I have set is fifty dollars to join. This is all in-game money, not real money. And you will have like donating perks though, such as like if you donate a certain amount of money, you'd get like this money in game and custom like, titles, custom stuff like that. Title, yeah. So basically, I think just like over here is fine, right here. Yeah, it's fine. Do it. So basically, let's start with like if you're if you come online and your friends are in a town, you're gonna want to join them. That's the whole point of townie. It doesn't make yeah. sense if everyone has and, their own town. Yeah, make sure that you have, like, with your friends, because you don't want to invite a griefer to your town. Um, so, yeah, and then next, what you would do when you fr come on the server, you would start selling ores or, like, wood or anything to get money so you can make a town. If your friends aren't have a town and you just want to make one for your friends. And you as a per like, you alone should not just have, like, your own town. You should just have... a with like a bunch of your friends or different players that you can trust on the server. More people in the town means you can do more with it. Yes, like, and then we'll go back, we'll go into that more later. More than Mary. Yeah, such as like nations and stuff, but we're not going to go into that in this episode. So basically, you're going to find an empty plot of land, which basically I found over here. You can do that by and using to... slash townie map, and it'll pull up a little map that shows blocks that are owned by different towns and ones that are not. As you see like right here, it... This is like you, and there is nothing around since this server is pretty much brand new. And, yeah, so basically, let's go and start starting a town. You're going to need $50 to start a town, but that's not it just to keep this town running. You're going to have to pay upkeep, which is every real day, not like Minecraft days, every day at like 12 o'clock, I think I have it set to, is it would charge you, and I have it set to $10 every day. So you're going to have to deposit money into the town, but first, we're just going to make a new town. So, basically, what I'm going to do is type in slash town space new. And then I'll just do test town as the name. That's going to be the name of the town. So, once I do that, it says, Any Malinowski created a new town called test town. And when I talk, Testy town. it says test town and then hermit. And then, like, it would just be your rank. The hermit means that there's only one person in your town. And then it increases think, as more people join the town yeah. up to, I think, king. Yes. Basically, I am the mayor of the town, and I can control, like, pretty much everything, all the toggle stuff in the town, like, for PvP and all that, too. We'll get to that later. Yeah. So, basically, what you're going to want to do right when you get to here um, is you want to deposit some money into the town for the upkeep. So, and if you don't deposit any money for the upkeep, um, your basic, like, your town will go into ruins, and it will start destroying, like, your whole town. Oh, Not no. players. It'll just... It doesn't take money out of your inventory bank either. It takes it out of the town bank. So you yeah. got to remember to deposit some. Okay, so as you guys see, when I'm walking out of this one block, it says wilderness, and then it says test town settlement, and this is all my town. And then it, when you go out of your town, it says wilderness today. Again, so basically you only have like this little area for like one person right when you start the town. So to deposit money to the town, you can type in slash town deposit and then how much money you want to do it so i'll probably do like a hundred dollars so that keeps me the upkeep in that town for 10 days so you are going to have to keep on selling stuff once you make the town to keep the upkeep 
it's basically paying rent rent on like a house in like real life, but you're paying it every day. Which once so, again brings up the positive of having many people in your town because everyone can deposit money into it. Yeah. Now is there any way to check how much money is in there? Uh yeah, if you just type slash town it'll tell you how much is in their bank in yeah. the town bank. So when you type in slash town, this brings up your whole like town settings. Basically so, like, a summary. Yeah, basically right here it says like you can have a board message. Um the town size is one out of ten. Which is like what is that like um blot or chunks? One is out that? of ten blocks, which is an eight by eight. Yeah. If I and remember you can correctly. claim new rent, uh land and stuff. The permissions build is destroy a switch and item, like all that. You can talk all that, and explosions is off, fire spreads off, and mob spawns are off in your town. Basically, in the bank, it says right here it has $100. Daily upkeep is 10 Taxes, nothing. The mayor, it says it's me, and then residents in your town. So basically, what I'm going to do now is add a player to my town. So I'm going to add Jacob over here and Peter. So it's going to be slash town add, and then the player name. So I do roadkill. 867. It says invite a roadkill to the town. Now I have to type accept or slash accept and then I will be in. Yeah. And then do town. It says roadkill x or 867 join the town. And then I do road, town add som flash. And basically he's just going to have to type in the slash accept. Slash well. accept. Hold okay. On. Well now we have three players in the town which will make my rank a chief. So. Now I'm going to type in slash town again, and now, as you see, it says here, it says 1 out of 30 for the town size. Since I have new more players, I have more, like, area to claim. More right? land to expand on. Yeah. So basically, Speaking it just says Chief and a. Malinowski, Road Code 867, and Psalm Flash. They are just residents. Like, they can't toggle anything, but they can be part of the town, and everything inside this town, they can, like, inside my town over here, they can build... And they can break. So that's why you got to trust them. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to expanding town. So basically over here where you see it says, like, wilderness. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do slash town claim. That's correct, right? Yeah. When you claim that, it says process processing town claim. And it says the annexed area. And that basically just gives you, like, a lot more of your town. Now if I type in slash towny map, it'll actually show you this little H over here, which is the home of the town. See how it just says home when I went over it? But if you walk out over here, normally it would say PvP is enabled, but since I just went claim, since I just said town claim, I just claimed that little area for my town also. And now if I type in slash town again, now it says 2 out of 30 for the town size. And then I can also sell that for um for like money also but it's not as much and yeah. it's it's but usually also, yeah yeah but notice when um when i went town to claim it it took it out of my bank like the deposit in like my town bank not my actual money and um now i have 80 dollars since it's 20 dollars to upgrade to like to claim later <coughs> all, right, all right so now what you're going to do is you're going to set a spawn for your town. It, you don't have to set it. Like, it's automatically set where the home was, but yeah. you can change it you by You can change doing... it to wherever you want, and you can change it in, like, a building. It's pretty exact. Um, you can also do, like, set home block, which is... Well, actually, what does that do? What's the difference between spawn and home block? I'm not actually sure. Okay, but I guess <laughs> what you want to use is just town set spawn. And actually, wait here. So the, the home is over here, so if I wanted my t the town spawn to be over here... I would say, I'd probably be like, why does it keep on saying home now? Because this is the home block. The whole area is the home oh, block. Okay. So, if I want my town spawn to be over here, I would type in town spawn. Oh, my bad. I would do, ah, oh, crap. Uh, I would do <laughs> town set spawn, right? Town space set spawn. And it says successfully change town spawn. And now when I do town spawn, it'll take me to that spawn instead of the original. And then, when you're the mayor of the town, you can basically ha you have full control of the configurations. Basically, what you're going to do is town toggle explosion. And, like, that turns on and off explosions in your town. I would keep it off. 
so, so you couldn't get like any griefers in your town also. <coughs> and then you could do like so if you wanted to use like TNT or like creepers, they wouldn't explode in your um town. So yeah, let's just turn that off. Is that disabled? Now I'm gonna do town toggle fire. Basically this turns off the fire spread in your town and turns it on. I just enabled it, so I'm gonna turn it off now. Fire. And you can also have you have the ability to stop mobs from like entering your town. Is that correct, Ren? Yeah, but those are only hostile mobs. You can still have sheep and cows yeah. and pigs. So I'd probably and that's just town toggle mobs. And then it are enabled, I'd probably turn them off. Toggle mobs. And then you also have the choice for PvP in your town, or you don't have a PvP. So that's the same as town toggle PvP. It's a na or it's just been disabled, and I would normally be able to hit roadkill, but he's in creative mode. And then if I wanted to enable it, I think it's automatically enabled because the server is enabled with TNT or with PvP. But yeah, so now if it's enabled, you would be able to hit any players in your like town and get their stuff if you wanted to but that's like they're part of your town so i would highly suggest turning that off also and i think that's basically all we have for that's really like, just the, the basics town. to getting a town started yeah we'll have more videos later for like the actual um mayor like, and nation. admin commands and yeah stuff. the mayor basically mayor commands gives anybody like if i want to set like this person mayor they would have all the abilities also but Basically, outside people outside the spawn. Like, why don't you like Roadkill and um, Jacob talk? You all see that we have Test Town, so anybody that's not in that town will not be able to break anything in their town. They will be able to go inside the town, but they won't be able to break it. All right. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. So Roadkill, you have anything to add? Um, not really. I just hope that people will create. Towns together, not just individually, yeah, and we'll have some right interesting for. little conflicts. Uh, yeah, and later I also said we that you can start wars and everything, and actually it's pr it's pretty cool. But like that will be in like later episodes. Yeah, we'll have to let everyone start up. That'll be much later. Prepare. Yeah, and then like nations, as many towns forming a nation, but that's also later. But a suggestion for a town when you first join. Um, yeah, look for players, look for your friends if they have towns, join them. But if you want to create your own town, what I would do is create your town and then claim some land. I would get, like, a lot of money at first and then claim it. And then I would suggest putting, like, a cobblestone, like, wall like a, around it or, like, a fence. Yeah, so barrier can, like, of some sort. Yeah, so it's not just, like, some pers random person just, like, walking and it's just like, oh, they entered this town. It actually looks kind of cool with, like, a castle design. And, yeah. So... But I think this, this server would be really interesting if we had, like, a bunch of towns and we had, like, a wars going on. So I would highly suggest you guys make a town with your friends and not just yourself. Because, one, you're limited to um, block, like, to 10 claims with your um, with only one person. And that's really not that big of an area. And plus, it's just better to work with towns because then you don't have to pay all the upkeep by yourself. But yeah, that's uh, I just thought of one thing that should be added. Since now Townie is in here, keep in mind that it's now, outside of a town, full PvP, which means that player killing and griefing are now allowed, although griefing just random places is kind of still looked down upon. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then also I didn't really go into economy at all, but basically just type in slash money to see how much money you have. I gave myself all that money. And if you go to the actual spawn, the stores over here, what you're just going to do, it says right on it, right when you walk in, it basically says what you're buying and how much you're going to buy and sell it for and how to buy it, which is basically left-click sell and then right-click buy. So let me just take off game mode. Say I had a stack of, let's see, I diamond one. So if I had a diamond, if I wanted to sell it, I'd left click it. If I want to buy one, I'd right click it. So if I sold it, I left click it, clicked it, and I got thirty dollars. When I bought it, I got one hundred twenty dollars. So yeah. All right. Is that all? I pretty much forgot. That, I think economy, that's... but I think that sums it up pretty well. Yeah. Pretty good job. Yeah, and 
basically you're gonna follow our forums also because we'll probably have some things where if you vote for the server you get money or something like that items and then I'm gonna think of doing like competitions or something with like the coolest town or some giveaways for like money or yeah but all that but basically everybody's gonna play fair which means like that even the staff are gonna have their own town I think we already started one called playing Steelers. legitimately keep in mind yeah we're gonna play it like legit and but yeah so I think that's a good summary of pretty much the beginnings like I said we'll have more episodes going on but yeah is that it? I think that's it. Okay, Peter, you good? Everything. I think Peter actually went AFK right. just for a sec. Right. It'll be okay. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy Minecraft Exchange.